Hi, my name is Robin DeBray, and I'm trying very hard not to sound like a weenie. Unfortunately, that's difficult. I'm going to um, demonstrate here Flash to XNA technology, as well as Box2D to XNA, as well as XNA to XNA, which is something that a lot of people figured was not possible, but I think we have finally figured out a way to do that. All right, if you look on the screen here, this is in Flash, the Flash program, we have um, some box 2D elements and the way you can tell what those are is they have this red bounding box and um, if you've watched the last one you know that becomes the bounding box of a box 2D shape so the physics reacts against that then we have some regular flash animation here with this guy sitting here eating popcorn and if we go into that timeline you can see that the guy sneezes alright so that's just regular flash animation but actually fairly complicated animation and then you may have noticed also we have these D's and G's and R's the D's are distance joints um, and by the instance name you can see that down here there's D0, D0, D1, D1 and as you can guess those bind to each other as joints um, the gear joints are also G1, G1, G0, G0 these two elements are geared together and they both have revolute joints which is the R which is causes, causes them to revolve around the letter R okay now if we switch to Visual Studio as you can see here we have um, a regular Visual Studio program this is our test file we're using and in here you see the content pipeline there's two files in here the germs one is the one um, that we're going to be demonstrating here um, and it, uh, you can see the germs one is the one actually set here. It's the only one set, so it's the only one we're demonstrating. Um, but what it does is loads the flash content as well as the Box2D content. And then on top of that, down below here, this is the XNA to XNA part. And to do that, we just wrote some XNA code. These are some spaceships that I wrote uh, a little program to make them do a funny belly roll a long time ago. Okay, now we'll switch to the actual running XNA file, and you can tell this is not Flash because of that funny little highlighted belly roll, which would take about 100,000 megabytes in Flash. This is actually XNA on the spaceships, and then in the background you can see we have Revolute and Gear Joints here, and then we have the Distance Joints holding these hexagon things together, and in the background, of course, you notice the guy sneezing and giving you germs. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.